mount these uh, Boma hatch and the max fan uh, up on the roof. I've already got these pre-drilled out and have centered them and drilled a couple of pilot holes just to make sure I get everything laid back down where it's supposed to be. my drill. sliding off the side of the roof. So try to be as careful as possible. And as you probably just saw, I just kicked my drill and uh, my whole packet of screws off the bus. Here are my pilot screws that I put in, and once I set it, got it square, I drill those two holes to hold it in place. Drill out the rest. I will uh, set those two back into where they're going to go. I've marked the steel here, and I know which holes I'm putting these into. This is always the fun part. Uh, Mandy, you want to give me a hand here for a second? Oh, that's the one side. See that circle of holes? That's where that, what, that's where that, this? Yeah, that's where that's going to go. Sink those two back in. Okay. Now we got that set. 
up where it's gonna go and it's square in the hole down below. I measured it and got it perfectly, perfectly centered in the hole. We can go ahead and drill the rest of these out and set the screws. Yeah, I'm gonna go pick up the rest of the screws from the field where they all scattered. I'll be back in a little bit. pre-drilled these but I wanted to make sure that the uh, self-tapping screws had something to grab so I just let the screw work right through the tape breezy out today it's only probably about 50 degrees right now this farm where we have Beulah is out the middle of a gigantic field with absolutely no break farm it anywhere so the wind pretty much just howls Time, there's a couple really large boats in there. Once the boats are removed, then we'll be able to move, uh, move the bus inside and continue with the world. Yeah. Once we have these all down, Mandy's been uh, look screws <laughs> picked out of a field. the sun shining it is almost 45 degrees yeah um sweetheart yeah do we have it open that way 
Yeah. Okay. Just I don't check. want the wind to catch it and break the hinges. Yeah, we had to make sure that when we mounted this, so the hinge end is on towards the front of the bus, because if the wind got up underneath this other lip, and it was strong enough, it could possibly break the latches, and then the lid would come flying up, and of course it would snap right off. So we had to make sure it was oriented to uh, not do that, and the hinges on the other side will hold on to it. We'll do the same thing with the max pass. Uh, Let's get to that part. Milo was trying to sneak out to his favorite cow poop rolling spot, oh. and I caught him. scrapey scrapey action on the pine tar pine sap now we're using the goof off and um, got almost everything up scraping it but I got a little bit of residue so that's pretty much all I'm doing and I know it's fascinating but Al apparently wants a video recording of every step along the way so I'm not sure what's going on and obviously I'm not quite prepared for my close up yet but we're getting it done more later. Whoops. Wrong way. I don't know how come I got my legs.
be right back. I gotta get some more screws. silicone around the whole thing and up here also so be right back <laughs>
my pull of screws. That's a pretty thing in the world, but it works. sealed really good but I don't want to take any chances and uh, have any water leaking so we're going to seal seal the steel as well Thank you. 
run your finger along that to smooth it in, push it in kind of thing? Yeah. to that. Last foot of the pine scrubby scrap. Yeah. I wasn't talking to you, honey. I was talking to our legions of fans oh. who are fascinated by watching you finger push caulk into holes. just to give you guys a break from this part when we talk about where the where Beulah is this is the view there's a farm next door there's a cabillion acres quick zip by the house another pole barn all sorts of good stuff so really is we're on the high plains but it's nice out here and it's even nicer when the sun is shining all right, back to Alan.
swing with my uh, finger along all this caulk to make sure I don't didn't leave any holes uh, by using the gun and make sure there's a good seal all the way around this steel even though like I said there's butyl tape underneath it and that's sealed really well uh, there's always a possibility of water finding its way in so we're adding some extra caulk to make sure that doesn't happen uh, once this dries by tomorrow I'm thinking um, we should be able to wash it down wash the bus down one more time uh, with the power washer make sure we got all the rest of the pine tar off and let that dry brush everything off and then we be ready to paint uh, the roof get that done We'll caulk the windows this afternoon. Get those all done on the outside. The inside's already done. So that should make us pretty well watertight. Uh, we'll pressure test it one more time. Check for leaks. And if we don't have anything, then we're gonna be in good shape. And then we can start building and framing. Once we're inside, it won't make any difference. But all this outside stuff, paying where it's only 40 degrees, things don't stick or they won't cure. We've been kind of having to judge what it's going to be that particular day to see if we can even get anything done. Uh, but the next couple of days, it's supposed to be above 50, close to around low 60s. So that should be enough to uh, uh, let this stuff cure. sure that it was uh, in acrylic and not with any silicone in it because for some reason paint doesn't stick to silicone very well. I'm not a chemist but uh, I found out over the years One down. Yeah. 